this week in a galaxy not too far away. Die-hard Star Wars fans are in a buzz over the new trailer that's been released for Episode 7, giving the first glimpse of Harrison Ford returning as Han Solo. Chewie, we're home. A man and a Wookiee sharing a home. <laughs> Cory Bernardi warned us, but we wouldn't listen. <laughs> as usual, Star Wars fans kept their emotions in check. <laughs> That's four stars from David. Margaret? <laughs> the trailer was also good for business. This trailer has made $2.5 billion what? What? for yeah. Disney since it was shown their share price went up. $2.5 billion. That's enough to keep Walt Disney's corpse cryogenically frozen for another 2,000 years. <laughs> Yes, I know that's an urban myth, unlike Star Wars, which is true. <laughs> this is technically the second trailer of the seventh Star Wars film off the back of the last prequel, but set 30 years after the original trilogy. Or as Yoda would say, confusing as hell the chronology is. <laughs> but also great, the chances for merchandising are. <laughs> It's set in the future, and you can tell that times have changed a little bit. Jabba the Hutt is on the paleo diet. <laughs> R2-D2 and C-3PO can now legally marry. <laughs> and unlike Han Solo, Chewbacca hasn't aged a day. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's born with it, or maybe he has a little secret. <laughs> Chewie, is that a grey hair? <laughs> Also this week, a man walks into a pub. The Prime Minister has sculled a schooner of beer at a Sydney pub. The lycra-clad, budgie-smuggling, onion-eating Prime Minister adds yet another visual to his sobering lineup. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is the honourable lycra-clad, budgie-smuggling, onion-eating Prime Minister. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, this is a gift for the opposition. The Prime Minister being egged on by a room full of footy players to scull a beer in one of the poshest pubs in Sydney. <laughs> Bill Shorten. Take it away. Oh, I'm just pleased that Tony Abbott's uh, learning to drink beer without adding lemonade to it. <laughs> really? Really, you're accusing Tony Abbott of not being manly enough? Because he is manly, yeah? This photo was taken on Manly Beach. <laughs> he is a member of a manly surf lifesaving club. He's so manly, his muscles have muscles, and those muscles have penises. <laughs> He is the manliest Prime Minister since Sir Walter Manley, who was PM from 1908 to 1912. Sure, I'm making him up, but no one else realises that. <laughs> no one else realises that because the oldest Prime Minister we can remember is Bob Hawke. And we only remember Bob Hawke because he sculled a beer. <laughs> Tony has made many mistakes, but sculling a beer is not one of them. That's why he and I are joining forces to finally bring some advertising to the ABC. You can get it fighting a fire. You can get it being called a liar. You can get it straining till you think you'd burst. You sure got a thirst. A hard-earned thirst needs a big cold beer. And the best cold beer is weak, weakly bitter. You can get it ironing a shirt. You can get it sniffing some dirt. You can get it knighting a duke. Matter of fact, I'm gonna puke weekly bitter.